Sevgili izleyiciler, Ekotürk TV ekranlarında Almanya'dayız. Düsseldorf'ta karşımızda Mario Suarez çıktı. Ee, hem ünlü İspanyol milli takım oyuncusu hem de e, Türk taraftarlarında sıklıkla ismini bildiğim Mario Suarez'deyiz. Thank you so much for accepting our interview request. Thanks to you. How is everything here in Düsseldorf? How are you doing? Well, I'm happy because I'm doing my first Euro as a commentator. You know, following Spain and the big matches. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, Turkey against Portugal. Yeah. Mario, what do you think about Turkish latest game with uh, Portuguese? I like Turkey because it's a very offensive team, but I think yesterday they were not uh, the best day of them. I think in defense they, because they want to attack, mm -hmm. and in defense they have some problems. But well, I'm, I'm convinced that they can win the last, the last match, yeah. so they can qualify. What do you think the, the biggest reason that they didn't succeed with Portugal? Because they, Artur Koglu failed the first chance uh, they had, and because Portugal has a lot of talent in front, and they scored the two, the two of the, th the first three chances they had, but I think uh, Turkey has to focus on the next match, win that match, and uh, qualify for the next round. So, what do you think about Montella's decision for, for making uh, first 11th here? I don't know if there were some injuries or not, but I was a little bit surprised because Arda Gulen didn't start and other players that they start in the first uh, match that they did really well. So I don't know, you will have to ask Montella because I don't know the reasons. I will. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was a little bit surprise for me. I see, okay. So what did you think about Arda Gulen's performance? I mean, he's that young age playing in Real Madrid and also like they just got a UEFA championship for this year. For what do you think about this young Turkish star in, in also Spain? It's amazing. I think um, he's an amazing player. You know, I love Arda Duran because he's my friend and I love him. But Say hi, Ar Arda too. Arda, yeah. hello. Arda, I love you. <laughs> but you know, Arda Guller is an amazing player with a lot of talent. The left foot he has, the shoot he has from outside the box. Uh, I think he will be an amazing player for sure for Turkey, for Real Madrid. And I think you are uh, very lucky to have a player like this. Oh, yeah, we, we, we think so. We're so proud of him too. So what do you think about the next game, which will be in Hamburg for Turkey national team between uh, Czech Republic? <laughs> I hope it's a final for you. You have to win to qualify. I hope Arda Guller will play with Chalanoglu. I love him with Gilmith. I love, the, I love also that player. I love the Turkey. I love Turkey. I love the Turkey people. I, I like when, wherever I go there, I feel very uh, respected for the people. I, I love to be in Istanbul. I have been there the last November with Arda having lunch. So I hope you can qualify and let's see. How do you like Istanbul? Like which part of Istanbul you like the well, most? Well, don't, don't, don't make me talk about the parts, but I love, I have been, uh, the last time I told you when, when, the, when the league stopped because of the World Cup, we have been there with my team, Rayo Vallecano. I, we were playing there against Fenerbahce and Galatasaray. And I have been having lunch with Arda. I have walking around the street, and I, I love I love Turkish people. Yeah, uh, well, friendly. They're friendly. always been too hard for you. And yeah, yeah. We we have a kind of uh, city that entertainment and everything and culture. You can find anything in one place, maybe. It's amazing city. What about Turkish football club? So Galatasaray is like again a champions for this year as well. So as you know, Arda Turan for legends from Galatasaray football club. What do you think about Galatasaray this year again champion, the 24th championship? It's an amazing team, really big team. As I told you, we played against them in a friendly match last year and they won, they won, I think, easy this league. They have a lot of talent in the players. You know, you can see a lot of players from Galatasaray playing in the national team, but I think that is very important. And well, they play in a really good football, offensive football. I think you Turkish uh, players, they want to play offensive attacking all the time. So I like, I like, when I, whenever I see one, one match from Turkish teams in also in Champions League, mm -hmm. I really enjoy. What kind of national uh, game, I mean, national team matches that you're following right now here in Dusseldorf in Germany and you have an upcoming schedule to go and, and see the games? Well, I did here in Dusseldorf the last match, uh, France against Austria. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do all the Spanish uh, yeah. uh, matches in Berlin, the other day in Helsinkirchen and tomorrow in, in Dusseldorf. And uh, I do tomorrow that match and after that I will do the, the next match uh, of uh, Spain. And I did yesterday also in, Darm in Dortmund, um, Turkey against Portugal. Mm -hmm. 
and let's see, let's see in the future what happens. I will do the final, the semi-finals. So I'm happy to be here. You'll be around here. I'll be around all Germany. So who do you think will win the Euro 24? Oh. <laughs> this is I the don't know. That I have to ask. From the moment until right now, I think the teams that likes, I like more is they are Germany and Spain. But also France and Portugal, they are not playing really good football. But they have a lot of talent, a lot of quality players, so they can win every match. And they don't need to play well. Uh, what about if Spain and Turkey in the same group, That what will happen, you think? <laughs> I, I will support Spain, but uh, I love Turkey, as I told you, but I will support Spain. And I think Spain, they are doing a great team with a lot of young people, uh, that they will have a lot of future also for the next tournaments. But uh, they are play, playing offensive football, attacking, not like in the past that we play a lot of tiki-taka, you know, very uh, possession of the ball. Now we are playing more offensive and attacking football, and I am joining it as a supporter, as a commentator, and let's see what they can do. So you also played like in, in Spain and Fran uh, in Spain and Italy and also in England too. Yeah. What's your next career move? Like, what do you think you want to come to Turkey and move to Turkey? Is there any chance that maybe you can work in Galatasaray? <laughs> no. Now I retire and I am enjoying my new life, We're spending more time with my family, uh, with uh, working in TV with in Spain, in USA with the NSPN. But uh, I'm open to everything. And Istanbul, as I told you before, I love. Mm -hmm. I love the people, I love the football from there, the big clubs from there. What kind of clubs are you following, Mario? I follow the team of Arda, of course. I was following... And they just, they just got in... They, they promote, yeah. yeah, I know, for the first division, I know. Mm -hmm. I text him and say, congratulations, my yeah. friend. He was worked so hard, though. Yeah. I was also following, following Emre, the Lotsoglu. I played with him Emre in Atletico. Well, yeah. yeah, he just left Ankara. Good job. I know, I know. But I was, I was following him because I, when I was in, in, in Turkey, in Istanbul, I was... I have been with him also. Uh -huh. We play together in Atletico, so we are good friends also. Uh, I'm not supporting any team especially, but I, I, I like the, what they are doing there. I like the people, the clubs. So I, why not? I'm open to maybe to work there in, uh, in any club as a sport director. I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah, open to everything. Yeah, maybe sport director, that I, when I was talking to you, started talking to you. So I think like Turkish clubs also interested to work with you as like that kind of background and everything. Congratulations, by the way. So here is the thing, it's kind of like my last question, I know okay. you don't. <laughs> okay, so what kind of Turkish clubs that you're following also for this uh, Super League? And do you have any criticism for Turkish uh, clubs in Super League? Because we have kind of fights, you know, between referees and we have uh, kind of like, you know, negative moments as well too. Well, I don't follow so, so, so I can tell you more things about that, but what I can follow, of course, you know, the most famous teams are Galatasaray, the Sigtas Fenerbahce now with Mourinho. Yeah, Mourinho. That will be very, really good for the for the country, mm -hmm. for the football because everybody will be looking uh, Fenerbahce and the, and the Turkish football. The team from Arda, I yeah. love him that he can promote. So I think you must invest in, in, in foreign players, but also in young players that will be the future of the, the transfers you're following, yeah. maybe from Turkey to like Spain or any other like players that you're following who's playing in Turkey. No, now you have Gilmith in, in, in Juventus, you have Arda Guller in Madrid, mm -hmm. uh, you have Yasitsi in, yeah. in Lens, no, Lens. right? Yeah. No, Lille. Lille. In Lille. Lille Football Club, Lille, Yusuf Lille, was yeah. also in Lille. Yeah, you have Demiral that he played in Juventus, and a big team. Chalanoglu in Inter. Chalanoglu in Inter, that is the captain. Yes, yes. Amazing player. Uh -huh. So I think you have a really good talent and you have to invest in that, in job players and everything because that will be good for the national team in the future and for the for the future of the league also. This is my last question, Mario Soros. For sure. <laughs> okay, so um, in, in Turkish Super League that you said it, so uh, who do you think you will be maybe if, as a, like work as a commentator to make an interview with like in, in uh, Turkish League? Who I would like yeah, to interview? Yeah, as a commentator, yeah. No, <laughs> for sure now Mourinho, no? That he arrives yeah. there and he will... And he will or, or Arda, that he promotes, how, how he can see him as a coach in the first division, the first time for him. So I think Arda, because I love him and Mourinho, because I think it, it will be really good for the Turkish football. Do you have any unforgettable memory with Arda Turan to tell us in here? Like the making, like, you know, maybe funny memories and no, stuff. I have a lot of funny <laughs> memories. <laughs> I think so. But... Uh, like the most unforgettable one to no, tell. No, the good moments with Arda were a lot because we won a lot of titles. Yeah. How was Atletico Madrid, like the experience playing with him? 
the experience to play with, with Arda or yeah with Arda amazing because we were a really tough team to play against we were very defensive team really strong and we have Arda when we have problems with the ball with the ball to Arda and we, we say to him hey Arda do whatever you want give quality to the to, to the team he was quite kind of he has to work with the team but he was kind of some freedom to him because he was the player with more quality for with, of our team so I have a lot of good moments also the last time I was with him in Turkey we was having lunch with him Falcao Arda and me and we were having the dessert okay I, I come in 10 minutes he goes and he never come back so <laughs> <laughs> but it's Arda, you know, you have to love him. Um, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. so how do you think the like, Spanish national team will succeed in the Euro 24? And is there any chance that you can, you know, describe us that, like how much percent, how many percent? I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, the good thing for the national team is that uh, they are playing uh, very attractive football for the supporters. They are, uh, all the people from Spain right now love the way they, they play young players so i think that's the most important thing they, they earn the respect from the people and i don't know i hope they can win but this it's a very tough there is germany there is france there is portugal there is turkey yeah if they course. qualify very. for the next round so <laughs> it's a very tough com uh, tournament but i i hope they can arrive until uh, semi-finals at least mario do you have some message to turkish fans like you want to say something thank you for everything because i know in instagram and all the message you send me uh, that you have a lot of respect for me. I love you. I, I, I love every time I go to Turkey and I hope to see you soon. That's it. We'd love to invite you when the leagues are open for the, you know, the games that what? you want to. When the leagues are open, like, we would love to invite you in Turkey. Okay, yeah. invite me and yeah. I... Okay, uh, thank you so much again Thanks for uh, having an interview with you. I uh, hope you will, we will share it together on social media. Okay. Sevgili izleyiciler, Ekotür TV ekranlarında Mario Soares konuğumuzdu. Burada Düsseldorf'ta Almanya'da kendisini yakaladı. Çok keyifli bir sohbet geçirdik. Umuyorum size keyif alırsınız. Umuyorum siz de keyif alırsınız. Lütfen kanalımızı takip edip beğenmeyi unutmayın. Hoşçakalın. Türkiye çok güzel. Yes. Türkiye çok güzel. <gülüyor> Türkiye. Bye.